Okay, let's install the install Jenkins on Amazon Linux. Okay, let's install the Jenkins on Amazon Linux. So, don't be three. Then we'll see again. Okay, I'll take a micro instance as of now. E2 dot micro instance. Okay, it's free instance I'm taking. Right now, let's go and provision that. So we already have running one instance here. Okay, so the one which we have done yesterday. So I'm creating a new one. This Jenkins 43 is already running instance. So I'm going to create a new instance. So launch instance. So here I create instance like Jenkins, let's say new 43, then a new instance. So it's a Amazon Linux and uh, you know it's amazon linux 2023 i'm taking this and number of instances is one and key pair i can choose uh, the one which i already have so hgb is enough so that's enough for settings default settings i just leave it so let's create instance first so meanwhile before coming up and running, let's go and open the document of installation steps. So, what is the mandatory now? Java 17 is a mandatory for latest Jenkins. Okay, that we should be remember one thing. So, like older version of Java, it won't work out. Okay, now open the document. So, let's connect the instance first. Let's connect. One second, guys. Let me put on charging. Okay. Over this. Let me connect this instance. I'll show like it takes five minutes of time. See, I'm repeating what we have done. So, if anyone facing the same issue, so it will be easy for them to troubleshoot. So I'm connected successfully. So first we never take a new instance. So let's check for update. Sudo m update. Okay. So nothing here. So let's go and install the Jenkins of you know this Amazon Linux desktop. Once we install, let's check the Java iPhone version. Java install or not. Check the Java version. So it's a Java 17 port installed here. So next, we can see the Java C command is working or not. So it's worked. So then only it will be understand Java path is set up successfully. Or else like Jenkins won't be start. The next download the Jenkins repository means package so by default this Jenkins repo is not there in your Amazon Linux so we have to add the repository then check the you know import a key then next install the Jenkins install the Jenkins now so once you install the Jenkins Next, we'll go and start the Jenkins server. After, let's check the status of Jenkins. So it is up and running. So next, let's on you know like boot up time. So it should be your Jenkins up and running when we are booting your restart 
running instances so I have a two instances are running here so you can attach the same security group for multiple instances there okay so here this instance which I have selected go to security and security group and in module go to in module and add a port here H zero like I'm as of now mentioning anywhere. So go to your here again, it's access. So your Jenkins will up and running. So this is initial admin password the first time when you install a Jenkins. So sudo cat, this is a root path, so I'm using a sudo. Copy this initial admin password and then paste over here. So I'm installing suggested plugins, so it may take like few minutes. Okay, so let's wait for two minutes. Two, three minutes it takes time. Let it be installed. This suggested plugins, in case if you don't want to like as yes, uh, there are special plugins you only install, then go for next option. Okay. So I'm keeping the like, like default suggested plugins. So this is the not plugins as complete and that our course is enough. So there are a couple of plugins which we use to real time. Okay. Those we are gonna take one concept and use those plugins. Okay. So going forward, we may use that extra plugins also. Okay. So we'll discuss that one by one. So let's wait for a few minutes. So installing, it's installing the plugins, you can see. You may guys have face sometimes these plugins are not downloading properly. So because of internet connections are very slow. It's given the connection time mode errors for this while plugin plugins are downloading so just ignore you don't worry about it later also we can install what are the plugins we need okay so don't worry about it let it be so Jenkins which version we installing Jenkins 2.466 remember any software while installing you should be remember like which version so most of the versions compatibility you need to check based on you know versions like plugin compatibility other uh, software version but you know compatibility so always keep your remember the version also which you are using even interview questions comes under like that so which terraform version you have used which Kubernetes version you have used which uh, java version you have used for your application which jenkins version you have used maybe they, 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 there is a chance to ask this question so so please remember those madhu madhu123 just like when it's a small password to remember easily purpose so I just give this so I'm saving this configuration so my Jenkins is up and running here so when I see that my Jenkins is up and running so if you can see previously the built-in node is up and, like as you know it's showing this online but it's showing this offline because of there was issue with the like you know the storage so if you can click this okay now you can see disk space is below threshold of 1 gb only so it is like 470 uh, 1 mb is available okay like as you know we have uh, you know out of 4, 474 mb left and temp directory this is the what we have available so what we do we have to like you know this is that like threshold they keep it 
it's for monitoring of tem folder so we don't need to worry about this temp directory okay so because of we are using a micro instance right so and eight gb of storage so for our practice purpose this this much space is not a perfect even if you need it then i can clean up this going forward so if you can see then you know you can see this why it is this node this jenkins this is the jenkins controller built-in node this is a master node and going forward what we do real scenarios we can add the slaves also okay so we can distribute that so that we can observe here if you see this here it will show that a hey, building on the built-in node can be security issue you should be set up with you no know, distributed builds means you should be use the agents means that master slave architecture will have to be implemented here okay so we are using the fleet instances we are using a, there is a fleet instances that will be you know save a lot of cost for you in the type scenario unless we can use the agent as a docker images or something like that it will be just just in time kind of like it will be create a container once the build is done that container will be go away so what happens it will be save a lot of your resources in the system so we'll go learn those going forward but right now how do you make it this online okay bring this back online i'm clicking this option if it's coming on a let's see okay so still not coming okay so what i do i go again this node and see here there is the option to update in offline reason okay this mounting data so there is a mounting data you see there is an option why it is coming so it is monitoring data is showing the pre temp space is 471 okay md so what i do i should go for the nodes in the nodes there is an option called as configuration here so the configuration monitor or here let's click this related node so you can see this space monitoring threshold by default it's select this so by default it's saying that 1 gb and uh, three, like you know free dispatch threshold is 1 gb and free dispatch warning threshold is 2 gb and you know pre temp space threshold is you know like 1 gb and here is that like you know free temp space is uh, you know warning threshold is 2 gb so instead of this i'm making a changes up here okay so threshold value i'm going to give like as you know 100 mb So here I can do for you know like uh, free this warning warning 200 MB I can do okay so it's also I'm keeping 400 MB I can get the 200 MB just keep this and then save these changes so once you change save the changes okay and here so here in the again i'm show you so again back i point for node and the node configuration so click this so here by default this option is not selected so like this should be there so disk space mounting threshold so basically the system is mounting the threshold if you don't have a proper uh, space in this temp directory so why this temp directory is using this any configuration any uh, you know runner sampling this will take a temp directory okay so the system will take a temp directory so, so this needed like at least one uh, like as you know one gb uh, storage uh, threshold value minimum okay so this is what they have configured so i am made it it is like as you know threshold is free disk space threshold is they given for one key so this is back i mean temporary directory this, this is a normal disk so i give it for 100 mb till the 100 mb my system will work this is a temp space this is a normal disk this means for example 8 gb i am using so out of 8 gb how much i have right now let's go and connect the instance so here see okay disk free iphone kh so if you can see what is the i have uh, right now so this is a temp uh temp uh, you know like as you know uh, not temp like here right so this is a disk the whatever it is 8 gb out of 8 gb 29 percent is okay and temp directory we can see this is the temp directory we have the uh, storage so this is what we have this mount the temp directory and this is what your disk so disk is uh, total we have 8 gb so what it is saying that even though these two values are not changing it will work for you and but the error is showing the 
uh, temp directory so i'm making these shells of changes okay i like as you know for example going forward i'm using for my system uh, multiple jobs are running even this disk also will be getting be overloaded so it will be threshold value will give pre warning will give this for me when it will be 200 uh, like as you know i mean 2 gb and it will be like as you know it won't work like, threshold value means give the errors alerts okay error means it will go down like if it is a 1 gb so what i am making these two changes so this is not required for what error is showing okay this is going for our purpose i'm keeping this also changes but right now this error will be fixed because of this pre temp space threshold value and then this pre temp space warning threshold value so warning i'll get a 200 mb when i have my temp directory and i'm getting like as a you know, threshold this uh, pre temp space threshold is a 100 mb so uh, my alert will trigger when it is 100 mb this is same like even we going forward when we are learning a prometheus grafana same thing this is for our internal mounting of our jenkins okay similar way we can mount it with the using our prometheus grafana this matrix data will collect this instance um, wherever it is running all our application so we'll collect cpu memory disk usage of the system we'll get we'll set up a threshold value we'll get a notify either through you know either as a, as a call as a mail or something like that okay is that clear guys understand no so let's save these changes once you save changes if you can see that gone or else if you could build the job it won't build the job okay it will show the issue so this free swap that's fine you can keep it that this is swap space okay that not required for you know change so let's create a new item i'm creating like as a no first job Free, you know, free cell project. I'm clicking OK. So, an execute shell and echo. So, this is like, as you know, I can just say this is my first job. I just give one print, uh, like, as you know, system echo statement. So, just print whatever you typed whatever it's typed so i've just write a description also for understanding so why this description needed so always maintain the description so others can be understand what is the purpose of this job okay so if you can build this and see this so it got succeeded in case if built-in node is uh, not properly uh, not in online no it will be waiting for executor so it will be like it won't be executed, it won't build is not trigger. So that's all. So that's where we fix the issue. Clear guys?